Jack and your dad uh, partnered up, but I know that Jack was reluctant to do so. Um, first off, I guess, you know, what was the purpose of the partnership? Why did y'all decide to, to team up with Roush? Well, we – so, first of all, we, you know – Everybody built their own engines, like I said. And then after we won the championship with DJ, all the four teams, except for Jack, said, why don't you just build our engines, lease them to us. So we started an engine business, my dad and I. We had eight Ford teams, including our own stuff. And then Jack had his five cars. And uh, so we said, let's let's build a new shop up here in Mooresville. And my dad had this vision, you know, and he bought this shop and up at it, 75,000 square feet, world-class engine shop. Never been – done heard of even thought of right but we're engine guys so he built this shop well by the time 2003 rolls around a lot of those guys are gone travis carter kmart left dodge came took a bunch all of the teams. four teams yeah so we were sitting there with basically our two cars and some road race programs inside this incredible facility in 2003 and we knew jack was maybe moving down and so finally, well, we called Ford, Dan Davis, and he said, yeah, why don't you guys get together? I'll back it. I'll put more money behind it for R&D and uh, put your program together. Well, before we went and talked to Jack, you know, my dad and Jack didn't like each other. Why? Because they both wanted to be the best Ford guy out there. They, they really didn't like each other. How far did that go back, though? Like, when did they start getting rocky? Well, From in the beginning? It's really Dale. It's Dale's fault, to be honest with you. Oh, good. All this is <laughs> who's your dad's fault. Okay, because early '90s he was dominating plate races, right? And so Ford said, "Why don't you guys work together? You, you and Jack get together and compare engines, and and figure out you know I'd, what's going on." So I was just out of college. We drove our engine up there, took two engines up there in a van. Me and Larry Wallace and Devin Barbie. And uh, we spent three days there, and we ran our engine, we ran Jack's engine, we swapped parts. I mean, we were there till three o'clock. It's the first time I ever met Jack. Three, four o'clock in the morning, back there at seven o'clock the next morning. And so, all right, this is this is pretty cool. So we went home, and we all went to Talladega, and we qualified third, and Jack qualified like thirty third. <laughs> and so, needless to say, it wasn't a very good start. This- and he felt cheated or slighted by the fact that we didn't share everything with him. And, and so that was kind of one piece. And then, you know, it was always a competition between Jack and my dad. You know, my dad won the championship first in 99 and Jack later in 03. And, but they were, they just, they wanted was, to beat each other. Was there I I know this is probably not, I remember um, Mark was going to win the championship and put a, put one of y'all's engines in his car at Atlanta. Yep. And it blew up. Nope. It didn't blow up. No. Nope. What happened? It just didn't run good. Didn't run good. So did Jack get mad about that? He was he wasn't happy with Mark about that. Oh, because Mark why? Mark kind of Mark asked for that to happen, didn't he? Mark said Mark I'll, drove that engine change, didn't he? You give me that engine, I'll win this championship. That's right. Oh wow. Yes. Well, Jack says, I'll give you that engine, but you're gonna have to take their car too. Oh, that's right. It was the whole thing. And so the car they picked was what we just ran at Phoenix, which was a terrible car for Atlanta, right? Yeah. And then so they put it in, and Robin and Steve Mill and all that group, and they, I mean, it wouldn't run. It, wiring was messed. I mean, it was just it was just a mess, right? Yeah. And so at the end of the day, it was an experiment went bad. Good. I mean, I know where Marco's coming from, but if he had put it in his car, I think it might have been a different story. But I built that engine. I mean, I built part of it. So as a kid, I'm like, oh, my God, you're kidding me. We're going to line up and put one of our engines in his car? Yeah. And um, But but – it was just – they just wanted to beat each other. I mean, they were so competitive. Was uh, – to his first point, when you talking about uh, when y'all went and compared the engines and, and then ran – was it Talladega right yeah. after that? Was he right? Did you guys hold some stuff back? Well, so Larry Wallace had a pretty strong influence on our deal, and he didn't want to share the cylinder heads with Jack. And Jack and I talk about this all the time, you know, and we talk about that that moment. So he was somewhat right, yeah. yeah because I would agree with that, right? It's like, impossible. Why would you? You'd yeah. compete against yeah. them. You wouldn't go – You're going – you were going over to their shop knowing that you had 50, at least 50 more than they had. Yeah. And what were they going to give you? That's right. That's right. <laughs> but but when we walked into the shop – now, this is crazy. So we had one dyno, one Superflow dyno. We roused into Jack shop at like 25 dynos. Damn. Wow. And I'm thinking to myself, golly, how in the world can we even compete with that? I mean, it was 
buildings everywhere, machines, dynamometers. So right away, I was pretty, as an engineer, I was pretty fascinated with this guy, Jack Roush. I'm like, this is pretty cool. I mean, he was there doing stuff. And so, so although they didn't like each other, we knew that, you know, there could be something there in the future. When y'all sat down in the meeting, was, was your, was, was Jack and your dad there together? So at, in the meeting for the first, no, no, my right. da- I was there. My dad wasn't there. So your dad and Jack never were in the same space together. Not then. In terms of putting this together. No. And so now what we know of Roush race, you know, racing engines and, and Yates, it's now, even today, a firm partnership. So when we put the deal together, my dad and I, we were at Atlanta and, um, and at the end of 03, back when Atlanta was next to, I think we ran Atlanta, Rockingham, Homestead, something yeah. like that. And so... We, my dad and I looked at us. All right, let's go. It's time to go talk to Jack. I'm like, all right. So we walked through the garage, and my dad put his hand on Jack's shoulder. He said, "Hey, can we go meet at your motorhome and talk about this deal that is kind of in the background that we haven't talked about yet?" He said, "Yep, meet me in my motorhome." And um, so we're all a little nervous because Jack's a pretty intimidating guy. You know, he's engineer and smart guy, and Jack Roush. Yeah. And so we um, we went in the motorhome and we're sitting there. And he looked at my dad. He said, "He said I don't like you." <laughs> he said, "But but I like Doug, and I think he has a good future." And he said, "Because of that, I'm willing to do this deal with you." And that's exactly who Jack Roush is. <laughs> Hard to like. I mean, no. Like, it's, I, I don't to know. The point. I, He's to the point. To the point. He's like, He's hey, right. I don't like you. Yep. I don't like this guy. 